Thank you. Question number two, Claire Baker. To ask the Scottish Government what its response is to the Inspectors of Prosecution in Scotland's review of the investigation and prosecution of sexual crimes. Lord Advocate. Yes, thank you, Presiding Officer. The Inspectorate of Prosecution reports to me as head of the System of Prosecution and Investigation of Deaths in Scotland. I'm grateful to the Inspectorate for its report and I accept all of the Inspectorate's recommendations. Uh, the Crown Office and Procurator Fiscal Service has a strong commitment to securing justice for the victims of gender-based violence and other sexual crimes and a good track record in that regard. The service is well aware of the particular challenges identified in the Inspectorate report. It has been implementing reform with a view to addressing them. It has established specialist High Court sexual crime units to supplement the work of specialist Crown Counsel in the National Sex Crimes Unit. Its pre-petition recovery plan has more than halved the number of cases on pre-petition investigation in the past year. And earlier this year, the service revised its victim strategy to improve the support which it provides to victims of crime. The Inspectorate's report identifies further improvements which the service can make, and those will now be taken forward. Claire Baker. Um, I thank the Lord Advocate for the reply. Um, the Inspectorate report does make some sensible recommendations for the Crown Office about improving communication with complain complainers, which is to be welcomed and must now be implemented. What this won't address, however, are the very negative experiences of rape complainers of giving evidence in court, with some victims describing this as being worse than being raped. Will the Lord Advocate commit to working with the Scottish Government to introduce early video recording of evidence in sexual offences cases to avoid complainers having to give evidence in court? Lord Advocate. Uh, Presiding Officer, um, we, we as prosecutors cannot bring the perpetrators of gender-based violence <coughs> and other sexual crimes to justice unless victims have confidence to come forward and give their evidence. Uh, uh, as, the, uh, as uh, Claire Baker will be aware, um, the Scottish Courts and Tribunal Service has got um, uh, evidence of children vulnerable witnesses as a work stream in its evidence and procedure review. And the Scottish Government has also consulted on um, uh, uh, further measures to uh, improve the way in which evidence is taken from children and vulnerable uh, witnesses. Um, I will certainly continue to work with other agencies, um, including um, uh, 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 government, um, as we seek to uh, improve the system for uh, the victims of crime whom we're seeking to protect. Claire Baker. Um, another area of the report I wish to raise are forensics. I was recently approached by a young woman who had reported a rape a few weeks ago. Um, her description of the care she received, particularly of the forensic examination, will break your heart and make you angry. She described the experience to me like this. Think, just think how it felt at the time of the assault, how it felt being in a barren environment where basic needs were only just being met, heating, water, food, where the male forensic medical examiner did not have the tools to do the job. Um, is it possible this afternoon for the Lord Advocate um, to provide any assurances that urgent action is being taken to address the clear deficiencies in how forensic examinations are being carried out as highlighted in the report? Lord Advocate. Uh, I thank Claire Baker for that question. Um, the uh, CMO review is uh, addressing the whole, whole issue of forensic um, uh, medical examinations. Um, um, uh, and uh, th 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 that's the appropriate forum through which these matters will, will, will and should be addressed.